Good morning to each and everyone out there. It's your boy Mr. Gare Baby once again and I'm back again with another interesting and sad episode. Anytime I combine these two words together, which means I'm here to talk about race. I'm here to talk about black people. There is this picture that is trending here in China and I want to share with you guys. I want you to tell me what you think. But stay tuned. Look at this poster and let me know what comes into your mind when you see this. I am Maya. Interesting, right? Black people are not allowed in here. Something like this is really normal here in China. Even Dr. Omar confirmed it the last time when he came to Shanghai, of which he thinks that that is racism. But sometimes we should not call everything racism, racism, racism. I know most of you, when you saw the picture, the first thing that came into your mind is that Chinese people are racist. China is a racist country. They hate black people. I'm not going to China. You know, like sometimes we just have to know the real story. Why is it that they posted something like that, that no black people are allowed in here? But that is not the real story. Let me tell you the real story. Let me tell you what happened. A black girl went to that supermarket to steal, of which they think that all black people are thieves. All black people are criminals. You, you, you get my point? This is the kind of misconception that Chinese people have towards black people. You got my point. That is what I'm trying to tell you that when you get the chance to educate people around you, that is better so that it can help redeem image of black people. It's not like you're trying to get acceptance from Chinese people or something because these are the kind of emails that I get every day like black people testing me that stop trying to get acceptance from Chinese people. That is not my point. The main aim of my channel is to bridge gap between the two. So I have to do something to educate both sides. That is why I do such videos. It's not something like trying to get acceptance or something because when you come to China, you go to so many places, they will tell you that black people are not allowed. It's not because they just walk up to write something like that. It's because of the kind of experience they've had before. That's why they are saying something like that. So when you get the chance, try to educate people around you. But my fellow black people, it's about time we need to respect ourselves for these people to respect us. If we keep on disrespecting ourselves like this, it's really not fine. It gives bad image to people who are not like you. You get my point? We, 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 try, to, we try to respect ourselves. That is the most important thing. You have to do good deeds so that it will affect your surroundings. I just don't want to talk that much, but... I wish I can tell my fellow black brothers and sisters that we should try and act responsible here in China or something like try to be good, try to be nice, you know, try to have a good attitude towards your own people, towards any other race. You got my point? Because sometimes when I talk to Chinese people, it, it, it looks like something happened. You got my point? Something happened like there was this black guy who went to a, a club to steal beer. And they think that all of us are thieves and they, they posted that no black people should enter this place. You know, that is what we do. That's what I'm trying to tell you that please, let's try to be responsible. You get my point? You don't have to, you don't have to indulge in certain acts that affect the whole race. That is all I want to say. Because these people, they don't know that, oh, you are the one who did it. So they have to blame you. They blame everybody. They blame everybody. Like, I met somebody, the person started running away. The person started running away because I, I, I tried to contact the person. Why uh, were you running away when you saw me? He said, like, the last time you saw black people beating his friend or something. So he thought I'm also going to beat him. Look at that. It doesn't even make sense. But it has affected me. It's about time you stand up for yourself and also stand up for a brother, a fellow brother. We support each other in here. That is what I always preach. Let's try and love one another and eradicate what is happening here in China. We can do it ourselves. Nobody can do it for us if we don't come together. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of being a black man and be proud of where you are coming from. I am Maya. And finally, before I leave, I just want to say if you are in China and you know, the, we, we are surrounded by Chinese people. Try as much as possible to learn their culture, you know, like something, something small, you know, something to keep you moving. If you really enjoyed this episode, I hope you give me a thumbs up for this episode. Just leave a comment if you have been to a place where they will tell you that no black person is allowed or something. Just leave a comment. Just let me know. 
And don't forget to share this video to your brother who you think that he has to change. I am Maya. Thanks for the love and support. And I hope people don't insult me for this video though. I am Maya. Peace out.